Yes, I'm spreading fluid across <laughs> America. They love you, Rebel. Ah, uh, hi guys. Hi. This is amazing. You should, you should do a guest host week. Oh, I don't know whether I could do what you do. Sometimes I've done hosting uh -huh. gigs and they terrify me. Like, because <laughs> I hosted the British like Academy Awards, the yeah. BAFTAs, and it was uh -huh. terrifying. Um, Is it because like British actors take themselves very seriously? As, like, yeah, yeah. Feelings? Like I made a joke about a male actor, and then his wife came up to me and was like, "You know, he's married, right?" And I'm like, <laughs> "Yeah." I wasn't like trying to get with him or anything. I was just, yeah. <laughs> okay. And so, well, yeah, so it's very hard to host. Well, but, yeah, it's, just... I'm glad you're hosting. Thank you. I get to sit Speaking... here and just... Thank you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Speaking of um, okay. getting with people, you recently got engaged. Yes, I did. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. You got engaged at Disneyland. Yes, I got engaged in Disneyland, uh, <laughs> the happiest proposal place on earth. Um, yeah, so basically, like, it's not like I'm obsessed with Disneyland. It's Are just, you? I go there every weekend. Oh and, my uh, god! Like every important holiday and every important life event. So I did actually get to sleep inside Disneyland for my 40th birthday. Uh, so I got to sleep overnight, and I got those little like disability scooters yeah. and went around just by myself. Why? <laughs> Cruising why, around. Why sleep in an empty theme park? That's like a horror movie. Yeah, like. It was really fun. It was really fun. And then I tried to break into the churros thing, and then I couldn't get that many, but it was fun. Yeah. There's, you know, but were the rides open overnight? or? No, they <laughs> shut them eventually. Okay. Yeah. There's yeah. this whole thing with Disney adults. You I, know this, Maybe right? I'm one of them. No! <laughs> Did you know, Hassan, there's actually gangs at Disneyland? There are like these gangs of adults. They have like cool names like the White Rabbits uh -huh. or um, <laughs> Children of Thanos, um, Coco Locos. Uh -huh. Like, yeah, they have all these gangs and sometimes they wear matching vests. Yeah. And they walk around and like do gang stuff um, so there's... inside Disneyland. <laughs> Wait, there's like an initiation where you have to like stab Goofy or something? The... <laughs> Actually, one of the initiations was you had to steal the apple from the Snow White ride, and the apple kept getting stolen so many times that they had to make it a hologram, <laughs> not a physical apple anymore. But don't ask me how I know about Disneyland gangs, because I will not say. Yeah, but it's not. It's not like you're wearing gang colors right now at all. No. Right. <laughs> right. But I will say I did get banned from okay. Disneyland for 30 days because I took a photo in a secret bathroom inside Disneyland, when, which is illegal at Disneyland, okay. um, and I got officially banned for 30 days. <laughs> but they called me up and said, Rebel, what 30 days do you not want to come to Disneyland because you're <laughs> away filming a movie or something? And I said, oh, June would be fine. So it was That's how I know band. you're a celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> like, Disneyland has Met Gala rules where they're like, no yeah. photos here. And then you break it, and then they're like, look, we have to punish you, but looking at your Google Calendar, yeah. what month works for you? Yeah, I know, yeah. Do you, as a, as a Disney adult, do you have beef with Quidditch adults? Because there's adults that play in Quidditch leagues. Uh, uh, do they? Yeah, um, yeah. You're no, laughing I mean, at them? I like Harry Potter as well. <laughs> You're, you're, you're like, yeah, they? yeah. Oh my God, uh -huh. hot dogs. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I don't have beef with everyone. I'm just like spreading love, and you know, that's, yeah, that's. You're that. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Okay. I yeah, always sure. wanted to. I haven't done it yet. Mm -hmm. But I heard there is this like Disney Illuminati. It's called Club <laughs> Thirty Three. Uh, yeah, I know about this. So. Yeah. <laughs> Because I'm in it, I'm in it, okay? Uh, so what, you're yeah. not, it, this is a private conversation. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, yeah, what you're not there? supposed to say you're in it. Uh -huh. You're not supposed to reveal other celebrities who are in it uh -huh. uh, or other members, but yeah, I am in it. And we do secret cool shit together. <laughs> like, sometimes we go into Disneyland at 5 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Just run around okay. and do stuff. Oh my God. Yeah, we do. Really? Yeah. And we have a secret gathering okay. this weekend <laughs> in Palm Springs. Uh huh. Because Walt Disney used to go there to find inspiration. I don't so, know if you're f me right no, now. This I don't is know totally what to do. Totally <laughs> Sometimes I say things and it sounds like jokes, but it's totally but real. But it's totally real? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll go on a Reddit deep dive and, and confirm okay. with him. Yeah.
I want to talk to you okay. uh, about this amazing dating app you have called oh, thank Fluid. You. Okay? Thank you. It's new. Like, none of the other dating apps have yes. thought of this. And I was like, well, I thought of it. So, <laughs> trademark that shit. Um, yeah, it's called Fluid. And basically, mm -hmm. when I was, I was on a, I wasn't so lucky in love. I was kind of like a late bloomer. And um, I, when you joined a dating app, which I did, this one called Raya, and you had to like tick, you had to label yourself and then label what you were interested in. Okay. And to me, I kind of uh, like, it was, felt really weird to like tick a box and say, yes, I'm that. Yeah. Um, and so I wanted to create a dating app where you don't have to like label yourself. So it's love without labels. And um, to me, it's really important because I think sexuality is, yeah, so much more nuanced and complex than, than just like labeling yourself. and like you're a can of food or something. Um, and, uh, and so I wish that Fluid was a, an app that was available like five years ago, because uh -huh. that would have really helped me a lot. Uh, and um, I, was, I was pre dating apps. I'm okay, like, so you've never been on one? Never been. I'm MS DOS. Oh, I'm like so Windows 95. <laughs> old school chivalry. My move was in yeah. college with my wife. I basically just went to the registrar's office and then took all the classes she was taking. Oh, that's yeah, Until she story. broke up with her boyfriend, and oh. yeah, yeah, I was laying back in the cut. I, wow. you have to, you have to respect how long I held my plank, because <laughs> I was pre-med for two years. Okay, right. <laughs> and I should not be pre-med. There, okay. I should not. Just wait. When you say plank, you, what do you mean? I'm like, a, like you know, you, oh, you know, okay. like, in like, right. in like when you're like exercising, they're like, hold the plank. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Maybe okay. that's just at Barry's boot camp that I go to. Yeah. Maybe. All right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, but the question that I had was, how do you initiate conversation? That's on a good question. App? Yeah, because people are going to be going on fluid. They're going to be matching, and then they're like, oh, "What do I do? What yeah. do I say?" Um, you how do you how do, how do you start? Do. Yeah, introduction. Koala emoji. Just put koala it in emoji. Bang. Like you match with someone, send them a koala emoji. It could mean multiple things. <laughs> I mean, maybe it particularly worked for me because I'm Australian, yeah. you know? But, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's interesting what some people just do, like a wave emoji or mm -hmm. something. Like, not even just a sentence, just an emoji. Well, I, I, I was like, what are you supposed to write back when someone does the hey? I have no idea. Yeah, I mean, it's Well, the, the hey is kind of just like, do you take it as, is but, that too much? The, uh, no, like, what Or are you like, oh, they're waving me down, much? like, hey, can we... What would be okay. too much is, like, calling you babe in, like, the first message. Okay. You're not, you don't get to babe until, like, you've been on, like, five dates at okay. least, I think. Um, yeah, babe is a lot. Yeah, That's or, like, lot. just saying... What about we meet at Starbucks at 11 a.m.? Like, you know, uh, or, you know, like, because you wrong wouldn't with that? walk up to somebody in a bar. I love, I would no, love but that like that would be your opening line. You've got to have a bit of banter. Okay, so, so, yeah, okay. so what I recommend to people is, yeah, to do, do a little bit of banter and okay. then get down to business about when, when and where you're going to meet up in a public place for safety, always. Like, right. Uh, I, I did one experiment called the Year of Love in 2019 where I went out with everybody who asked me out. As an experiment, Whoa. so I got How is that not a good movie? at dating. Oh, it should be. Well, it should be. A movie. Yeah, yeah. I think you I just might yes and it every. That's yes. like the craziest improv class. Yeah, everybody. He said yes, unless uh -huh. they were in a federal prison. Okay. I went out with. That was the one caveat. Uh -huh. um, and like, and so I got. I did get really good at dating because I felt like in my twenties I was studying and working, so I didn't. I didn't really. Um, uh, date much so I had no experience so I spent one year really focusing on dating and but yeah but I would just say banter it up and like yeah and then set up a meeting in a public place okay safety can yeah. I can we can I ask you about that opening hey okay do you go capital h-e-y oh. do you go this is serious that's shouting that's yeah. shouting what yeah <laughs> if you capitalize it what that's about... like saying hey no and then no, no, you no, no. Could come off as aggressive no rebel all caps, capital yeah. H, capital E, capital Y, exclamation point. That's hey. Is it? But it's more like hey. Yeah, you want to do like more like a Hamilton hey, which is like hey. You know, in that oh, song. Oh, hey. you're so cool. Hey. Like, and just be, you know what so I realized? I would do lowercase. When you text, yeah. do you do? Do you use punctuation? Do you ta capital H E Y or do you do all lowercase? Are you like? Hey. I do punctuation. Maybe it's because I'm a law school graduate. Yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> but I didn't know. I didn't know that's corny now. Like, no, now, it's all ironic detachment. It's I think all that's like, a sign of hey. good education. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank I you. Like that. I, I like that. I don't want to feel bad about that. Just some punctuation. Um, yeah. I, I... 
wanted to ask you, what is an instant red flag for a dating profile? Okay, there's some things. A man <laughs> holding a fish. What? Uh, Why? No, Why? No wait, wait, he loves nature. No, something weird about it. <laughs> um, also, girl on a horse. No. Okay. Horse girls. Okay. They're a bit what about Machu Picchu? What about Machu Picchu guy? I have a lot of guy friends that are like sunglasses What's Machu Picchu. Oh, what is Machu it's a, Picchu? It's in Peru. It's like a. Oh, yeah. when they were near the pyramids or something. It's kind of like it's not yeah. the pyramids. That's in Egypt, but. Oh, okay. the, but, Machu Picchu, yeah, yeah. but but it is it is like a civilization built into a mountain, but they'll be like at the top of it, and they're just like I Mike, you know, oh. and it's just like sunglasses. Like, like they're saying they've climbed this and they might climb you. I think what they're. <laughs> Well, okay. Is that, I thought it, that was, could be hot. That could be hot. To I some think it people. was more like I'm like well traveled and oh, I'm yeah. interesting. Oh, but, okay, but, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you can read lots of things. I mean, I definitely when I was on the apps, I would look at people's photos and try to like work out things about them, and you know, if I thought they were like cool. Really? Or not. Yeah, yeah. But okay. sometimes you can never tell, and some of them do have a criminal record. <laughs> <laughs> Criminals yeah. have you dated? A couple. Oh my god. I do have the number of the FBI. What? <laughs> because they volunteer to check people out for me. Yeah. Okay, we're putting yeah. okay, fluid the app here. But, Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. The FBI. I don't know whether they do this for all actors, uh -huh. but they're like, oh, you know, if you ever want to background check somebody, uh -huh. um, you let us know their name and their number. And so I did. Uh, <laughs> It turns out that guy had an assault charge from Chicago. Oh, no. And, uh, yeah, and then, and then I said, how bad is that? Because uh, he was quite hot. And then they go, oh, well, <laughs> I wouldn't let my daughter date him. Uh -huh. So I said, okay, and I ended it. So the <laughs> FBI has really helped me. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm saying I do but, love the FBI. But... The peaks yeah. and valleys of that story is kind of like Machu Picchu. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, you um, you founded this amazing app, and not many females in tech. Yeah. So I was like, let me get in. It's there. an amazing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's an amazing. Uh, um, how do you think this app would have changed your life five years ago? Um, I think it would have. I was someone who like I didn't. I, I was kind of dating guys, but I didn't think I was 100% straight. But I just, I grew up in a very conservative Christian background, and so I never quite explored that area. Um, whereas the cool thing with Fluid is like, you know, maybe a, a woman would have popped up and I would have been like, oh yeah, and it's, there's no judgments to like chat to someone on Fluid, and so you could, and you would have just chatted to them, and maybe I would have like got to know somebody quicker. Um, yeah, so I, I kind of wish it, it was around earlier, and that's why I wanted to, to make it and, and put it out there and have it be a free app that people could download, and hopefully it'll help lots of people find love. And you could be, like, totally straight on it. You could be gay. You could be, like, in any of, like, the intersectional queerness that's, yeah. that's out there and, and find love on this. And it actually just it widens the dating pool. And, sure, some people you won't be interested in, and then the algorithm will learn um, not to send you too many of those people, but they might show you a wild card. It's like when you're shopping for like a cheesecake uh -huh. and you might not know what flavor you want until you see it in front of you. Right. And then, yeah, and then you see like, and you're like, oh yeah. That's amazing. That's tasty. Everyone, please be sure to check out the Fluid Dating app. Rebel Wilson, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.